Michael Collins reporting for the Irish Farmers Journal. Today we're driving a Valtra N114E high tech specification tractor. This tractor is also fitted with a Q8 front loader. This is originally uh, built by Quickie. A um, couple of statistics about the tractor, a couple of the main points are it is 115 horsepower. Uh, max power is 115 horsepower at 1900 rpm. Max power with boost is 125 at 1900 rpm. Max torque is 500 newton meters at 1500 rpm. And max torque is 540 newton meters with boost. The transmission type in this is a five speed power shift. So on the right hand side, you've got one gear controller, which you've got two switches on. There is one switch for the range change of which there are four and then you've got five individual power shifts in that so it's 20 forwards 20 reverses on the right hand side then you've got manual spool valves which are fall relatively clo close to hand they're, they're color coded so you can identify the different ones here you've got the speed selection for the pto on this tractor there's 540 540e and 1000 four wheel drive differential lock this adjusts your flow rate on the manual spool valves so if you're to go for the electronic spool valves this option would be integrated into the system on the right hand side then for the back you've got the controls for the lift you've got your lift height you've got your draft control and you've got your rate of drop so as some sitting into a tractor it's a very easy tractor to drive very easy to sit in and go the handbrake is integrated into the left hand reverser and the engine you probably notice there the engine drops in rpm when you engage the handbrake lower the controls here are on the ergo shift um, manual control lever this is a an aftermarket fit by the dealer so this is a, a cable control loader otherwise everything else is pretty straightforward it's a very simple tractor to operate there's good visibility very high windscreen uh, large doors with good rear view mirrors um, another very clever option on this tractor is you get a free flash lamp with the tractor this is charged on the right hand side so very handy for the man who's working in the yard at night or who just needs a tractor or who needs a torch on his tractor when he's out working late at night sitting on the left hand side here also another very useful feature is a side window which can be opened very easily letting a bit of fresh air so you're not uh, having to turn on, uh, turn on the air conditioning all the time and otherwise a very nice tractor loads of storage space this tractor is actually designed to be a twin track model which means that in some countries these tractors are used for reverse mowing or for sitting on forestry mulchers or any other kind of equipment that may necessitate the seat to be turned around so we set off we're on a 250 meter incline after that we're going to go over some um, rougher terrain over some speed bumps and we're just going to see how the tractor behaves shift controlled with a single switch here on the right hand side. The changes are quick, they're smooth, the cab is pretty quiet, it's a comfortable cab and there's not much of a gap between the power shift which is good, you're not losing much power. So we're going up this pretty steep hill behind us we've got an NC dump trailer. This is loaded with just over 16 and a half ton or complete weight of 16 and a half ton. The tractor's got its work cut out putting this trailer. I'm just trying to go for range here now. It's a bit of a delay, the engine drops the revs. And actually a very smooth speed matching for what the, for the load that's on the tractor. The is small bit will cover very well, so that's that torque coming through there. So now got up into the next range, speed matching as well. Got up into D2. So this tractor is fitted with front suspension and loader suspension, so it's quite a comfortable tractor. Good rate of acceleration. There's plenty of power coming from the four cylinder engine. The tractor is big enough as well, despite its power to control the dump trailer, it's not getting thrown around, it's not getting pushed around in the cab, or it's not getting pushed around on the road. 
great visibility. I can clearly see behind me with the large mirrors. There's plenty of glass on, on both sides, plenty of glass as well forward. So for the for this track that has fitted with the loader, it's easy to see where the loader is, even when it's in the lower position. It's already, it's nice and tidy, it's out of the way, but also for working in the yard, the visibility is quite good. One thing we did notice about this tractor is, is that it's got a very, very good, tight lock. The engine on this tractor is sculpted, which means that the wheels can tuck in very tight to the frame, meaning that you've got a very tight turning angle. Great around the yard, or great if you're plowing and you want to keep your headlands um, narrow, you can have a very, very narrow headland, but definitely for the for a tractor of this size, it's probably going to be fitted with a loader. It's going to be very suitable for working in around yards, sheds, um, getting in and out of uh, slatted sheds to feed cattle in the winter time. Very, very well, and um, very suitable tractor for that kind of work. This tractor is fitted with air conditioning, which is just controlled here above my head. Very effective, very quick to demist the windscreen or to even defrost the cab on a foggy morning. Just going over some gravel area here, some hard cores, a couple of potholes in it. The tractor travels pretty well, it's comfortable, it's solid. If anything else, I can say about this tractor, it's a very substantial tractor. It, it is a good size tractor for a, for a front loader, but also very, very um, comfortable, very stable, very suitable for the work we're doing with it today, pulling the dump trailer, some loader work with it. It's a very suitable tractor.